Hey guys, this is Unforgiven, and today we are going to continue Alan's story. Are you sure you read the directions right? It's nothing like in the brochure. It said near the lake, not on it. Don't get me wrong. This is so much better. It's wonderful. Our own private island. So, let's begin. Last time we arrived and at this uh, island, which is supposed to be our uh, house for our vacation. Bird leg cabin. Okay. It really feels a little bit weird. Um, uh, with this camera. Knock, knock. Here we go. Let's take a look inside. Come on. Third time the charm. It's dark in there. We need lights. Can you figure out how to get the power on, honey? Hello? Anyone here? Second controls. Okay. Feels really much smoother. The cabin looked like a time capsule from the sixties, or even earlier. It's definitely a nice house. For a moment, what? the oppressive hey. feel of the nightmare I had seen on the ferry returned. Okay. Damn. I needed to get the power running in the cabin. There had to be a fuse box or a generator somewhere on the island. Now you. <clears throat> Guests have already started to arrive. Just ran into one on the ferry. Famous artist. The power cable goes to that. You could say that a little bit sooner. Just saying. What? The island had once been the site for a love story. Maybe it would be that again. Oh, I see. Someone carved the hard with some initials there. The old generator had been connected to the power cable. There we go. The lights are on. Good work, honey. I'll freshen up a bit and start settling in. Okay. I'll look around a bit. Sure thing. Honey? Where did she go? Alan, I'm upstairs. I have a surprise for you. Guys, this is a trap. When you see something like this, you should run. Whoa! 
Well, hello there. I'm not the surprise. <laughs> it's in the study. Go take a look. <laughs> okay. Surprise. Okay. What is she brought? I guess I have a small project project project. I thought maybe you could write here that a change of scenery would get you past. Damn, Alice, you, everyone. Hey, keeps... hey, hey! Just hear me out. There's a local doctor, Dr. Hartman. I read a book of his. He has a private clinic here. He specializes in helping artists. Maybe... So now you want to get me committed? No, it's not like that. That's not. Alan. Alan. I don't. Just don't. I don't want to hear it. God damn it, Alice. God damn it! I knew she wouldn't follow me in the dark. I needed some time alone to think things through. <sighs> so this vacation seems to be a part of uh, her plan for him to start the writing again. Damn it. Fucking ravens. Something terrible had happened to Alice. The phone was dead. I'd have to find help on foot. Among Alice's things was a book, The Creator's Dilemma, by a Dr. Emil Hartman. Seeing the book brought back my fight with Alice. I didn't like it. And I didn't like the guy's smug face on the cover either. He is the doctor that Alice uh, talked about earlier. Who is supposed to... Wait. The gas station was my best bet. They'd have a phone I could use. It looked like a long hike through the forest to get there. He suppose, uh, he supposedly um, could help us with our problem. Whole environment seems like um, like the one in the Silent Hills. Hello. Hello. Is someone there? The loose sheets of paper were pages from a manuscript entitled Departure. That was the name I planned to use for the next novel I had never gotten started. I was named the author. I hadn't written it. I couldn't remember writing it. In the scene on the page, the hero was attacked by an axe murderer in the woods at night. It, it gets even way better. Please. 
please! I've been in an accident! The lights up ahead were a good sign. Maybe I wouldn't have to hike all the way down to the gas station to find a phone. Did you hear that? There? Please, I've been in an accident. Hey! Hey, you! Phil! There's been an accident. I need help. Listen, I need to... Premium cabins for rent in... Oh, hell. Carl Stucky. Please. To meet you. non reservation has required. Fair and square. He seems like the one uh, that uh, supposedly read in the house. So I think we go we should go this way. Oh fuck 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 fuck. Okay. second now and Stucky would be knocking on the door with his axe like Nicholson in The Shining. Let's see what we can find here. During your trying it's the latest yes. in Bright Fall Sheriff Station. Hello? Let you Fuck. Jump. Outside a shooting range, and now I just killed someone or something. There were no bodies, they just disappeared. If I was dreaming, it felt real enough to make me sick. The dark forest was the last place I wanted to go, but I had no choice. I had to get to the gas station. Eerie hand painted graffiti was revealed by my flashlight. Someone had hidden a chest of supplies near it. Okay. We should definitely find more batteries. At all. Okay. When I saw the river below, something uncoiled Please itself don't fall. my head. 
I realized that I'd have to find a way across. I didn't even want to look at the water. I think it's this way. Where did he go? Stucky was still out there, in the dark, stalking me. Guys, we have to to conserve our uh, batteries. Yeah, is there something here? No. Okay. I'm blind. I feel definitely more relaxed. So I came from here. The staircase was broken. I had to make my way up some other way. There was no power. There was bound to be a generator somewhere at the logging site. Of course. So we climb this ladder. Go up there. Please don't fall.
Well, I was just outside for a breath of fresh air, and what a night. I, I know most of you are probably in your beds by now, but if you're still up and around, take a moment. Step outside for a spell and breathe. It's like the forest is quietly breathing along with you. Do you listen to no one? I'm a night owl and it's on nights like this. Another manuscript fades. The gas station was closer now. It's light welcoming in the darkness. Paul makes the best friends in the street. Barry Burster is the best with no coats. Monster Dog is second best. <laughs> the famous dog is. Of course, if this isn't a uh, welcoming uh, forest, I don't know what it is. I think I came from from there, so I should go this way. Maybe. Another page. Again, supplies. Okay. Shotgun. Fuck. I can't get more batteries. Science. It bestows immortality on the Another page for the collection. As 
you might it can be dangerous. There he is, thank you. Come on. Where is he? Okay. Yep. Definitely not sc not scared. Can you please stay put? Thank you very much. Stucky's body vanished, leaving behind only a lifetime of nightmares to come. Assuming I'd reached the lights of the gas station alive. That was intense. So I came from here. To go right. Does it go right? No, it doesn't. I'll put this. Almost there. I recognized the parade float I had seen in Bright Falls when I first arrived with Alice. After the insanity I had just experienced in the darkness, the lights of the gas station felt comforting. At least for a moment, the same world reasserted itself. Another page. The deer fest had been two weeks away when we arrived. If the day count on the banner was right, I was missing a whole week between the night we got here and now. I had to get inside the gas station to find a phone to call for help. Yeah, but how? Seen. The garage was a mess. It looked like someone had trashed the place, or that there'd been some kind of fight. I'll keep writing. Outside, there's only darkness. Outside the cabin, outside the story, there's only darkness. I can feel her presence in the dark. Just now, I could smell her perfume in the room. I'll reach her. I'll fix it up. I'll bring her back. The story will come true. If I stop, she's lost. I don't believe this. It'd been me on the TV, talking crazy. Was I losing my mind?
Bright Ball Sheriff Station. Oh, thank God, Sheriff. Sheriff Sarah Breaker, you are... I'm Alan Wake, but listen, I was in a car crash. My wife, Alice, she's missing. Calm down, Mr. Wake. We were staying in a cabin on the island, on Cauldron Lake. There's no island on Cauldron Lake, not since the big eruption in the 70s. Please, I can take you there, okay? You look like you've taken a pretty bad knock to the head. Are you okay? Listen... We'll figure this out. Please get in the car. We'll swing by the lake, and then we'll go to the station, okay? Mr. Wake, have you seen Stucky, the guy who owns this place? Um, I realized no. I couldn't tell her what had happened in the forest. She wouldn't have believed me. And then she wouldn't have helped me with Alice. This is fucked up. Well, this is it for the second part, guys. Thank you for staying with me and Alan so far. If you like this video, don't forget to leave a like and a comment about what is your opinion of the game so far. And please subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the rest of Alan's story. See you in the next video. Until then, have fun.